you've been trained for three years to be a, a Coast Guard officer and, and watch standing. And we did that on the summer cruises. We do watch standing and so forth, you know. So you, you're being trained all along. Then you went on the ship and then they made you a watch officer and almost immediately. You know, yeah, you have a duty. Like you might have the 40, 48 watch. You have both 48 watches. 48, 48 in the morning and 48 in the afternoon. And you slept one eight hours and the other eight, eight hours with your eight hours to work on the ship. Yeah, yeah it's my watch. And if you have uh, other things, you call the captain. Something unusual happens, you know, you don't understand. You call the captain and tell him what's going on. And then he, if he thinks he needs to be on the bridge, he comes to the bridge and takes over. Well, the guy that's uh, driving the boat, is he an officer or an officer? He's always usually an officer on a big ship. On a, uh, now, on a smaller ship, you know, usually had one officer, like an ensign or a JG, and then you have chiefs. I was not a junior not a... watch officer. I, my junior officer's job on a, on, a, on a big ship as a watch officer, or I was on a Lorenz station, and then I went to flight training. Anything happen on watch? while you were on the ship that was of interest? Anything out of the ordinary? Oh, you, yeah, let me see. Anybody fall overboard? No, not on my watch. We had drills like that, okay? That could happen on your watch. Yeah, they could, and you could, the captain could throw a life jacket over there, say, man overboard, and then you'd have the drill right on your watch. Yeah. 